pseudo science podcast today's topic is life cycle of a star stars are the shining things that we see in the sky at night the sky looks beautiful with stars many people like to do star gazing some feel it as a hobby or some feel it as a romantic hmm but you know it's dependent upon one's thinking stars do not live forever just like people stars are born live their lives change or evolve as they age and eventually they die often stars do this in a much more spectacular way than humans do now today we will discuss about life of a star yes even a star also has a life cycle this episode will provide you knowledge from how a star takes birth to what happened after its death so now let's begin a star is formed from a massive clouds of dust and gas in space also known as nebula nebula are mostly composed of hydrogen gravity begins to pull the dust and gas together as the mass falls together it gets hot a star is formed when it is hot enough for a hydrogen nuclear to fuse to make helium the fusion process releases energy which makes the core of a star hot here is a little physics about gravity and the nuclear energy of the star a star is balanced by two opposite forces gravity and nuclear fusion gravity squeezes the star to the smallest possible but the burning fuel at the core creates a strong pressure this outward push resists the inward squeeze of gravity when a massive star runs out of fuel it cools off then gravity winks and suddenly collapses bit interesting right so when actually the core stops burning the star life end basically it is because of gravity the star dies actually from the stellar nebula that is nebula the star has two life cycles you can say that it has a choice to move in one of its path so let's discuss about this path part 1 in this path an average star is formed from a red giant is formed then it forms a planetary nebula a planetary nebula is created when a star blows off its outer layers after it has run out of fuel to burn then the star becomes a white dwarf and the expanding gas cloud becomes invisible to us ending the planetary nebula phase of evolution part 2 in this part the massive star is formed then from that the red super giant is formed and then a supernova takes place when the fuel runs out to burn in the star depending on the mass at the start of the life a supernova will leave behind either a neutron star or a black hole neutron stars are the smallest in the densest stellar object the exact lifetime of a star depends very much on its size very large massive stars burn their fuel much faster than the smaller stars and may only last for 200000 years smaller stars however will last for several billion years because they burn their fuel much more slowly on a note of comparison small stars like sun will undergo relatively peaceful and beautiful death that sees them pass through a planetary nebula phase to become a white dwarf which eventually cools down over a time and stops glowing to become a so called black dwarf massive stars on the other hand will experience the most energetic and violent end which will see their remains scattered about the cosmos in an enormous explosion called as supernova so this is it about today's episode we have learned about the life cycle of a star and we have also gained some knowledge about what are the parts of life cycle of a star so do share your comments and theories of the episode with me through instagram facebook and twitter and if you want the visual experience with graphics and animation of my episode watch them on youtube and subscribe to my channel dhiraj kala Okay now we'll meet you in the next episode with a new separate topic until then goodbye stay safe stay tuned